Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, smaller circle with the center P fully inscribed uh, in a larger uh, circle uh, with the center O, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, the radius uh, of this uh, larger circle is 13 units. And uh, C, D is the diameter. And moreover, this segment uh, TD is 10 units. And furthermore, uh, AB is the chord. And now our task is uh, to find the length of this chord uh, AB. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. And now let's make an observation. We can see the radius of this uh, larger circle is 13 units. So therefore, uh, this OC is the radius of this uh, larger circle. So this has got to be 13 units and likewise, OD is the radius as well. So this is going to be 13 as well. So therefore, uh, this whole diameter CD has got to be 13 plus 13 is going to give us uh, 26 units. And we know that this segment uh, TD is uh, 10 units. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining uh, segment uh, CT is going to be 26 uh, minus 10 is going to give us 16 units. So therefore we can see that this uh, diameter CT of this uh, smaller circle turns out to be 16 units. So therefore uh, this uh, radius uh, CP is going to be half of that one is going to be 8 units and likewise this uh, radius is going to be 8 units as well. And likewise uh, this EP is the radius so this is going to be Eight and this uh, PF is radius as well. So this is going to be 8 units as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, radius EP is equal to this uh, radius PF. And furthermore, uh, this uh, segment uh, AP is going to be equal to this segment uh, PB by symmetry. So therefore we conclude that this uh, tiny segment uh, AE is going to be equal to this tiny segment uh, FB. And if I label this uh, tiny segment as uh, lowercase a, then this segment FB is going to be lowercase a as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, segment AP is going to be lowercase a plus 8. So we can write uh, a plus uh, Eight. And likewise, uh, this segment uh, PB is going to be A plus uh, 8 as well. And now we know this segment uh, CP is 8 units. And finally, this uh, segment uh, PD is going to be 8 uh, plus 10 is going to give us uh, 18 units. And now let's recall the intersecting codes theorem. According to this theorem, if two chords intersect in a circle, uh, then the products of the measures of the segments of the chord are equal, as you can see in this given diagram. And here we can see our two chords, uh, A, C, and B, D, intersect each other at this point. And as a result, we are ended up with these segments, uh, A, B, C, and D, respectively such that uh, the segments uh, A times B equal to the segments uh, C times D. And now let's revert our attention back to our original problem. Here we can see we got these two chords uh, A, B and uh, C, D that intersect each other at this point uh, P. So according to this uh, intersecting chords theorem, we can multiply A plus A times uh, A plus 8 is going to be equal to 8 times 18. So therefore, uh, we can write uh, a plus uh, 8 uh, times uh, a plus uh, 8 is going to be equal to 8 times uh, 18. 
and now we are going to multiply these two binomials uh, by double uh, distribution so therefore we can write uh, a square plus uh, 8 times a plus uh, 8 times a plus uh, 64 equals to 144 let's combine the like terms on the left hand side so a square plus 16 times a plus 64 equals to 144 and now we are going to subtract 144 from both sides this is gone so therefore we ended up with the a square plus 16 times a minus 80 equal to 0 so therefore we are ended up with this uh, quadrat equation a square plus 16a minus 80 equal to 0 and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring and now let's focus uh, on this uh, constant negative 80 that could be written as uh, negative 4 times uh, positive 20 and the difference of these ones is going to be positive 16 that's what we got in the middle so therefore our factors have got to be a minus uh, 4 times uh, a plus 20 is going to be equal to 0 and now we are going to separate them we can write a minus 4 equal to 0 and the other one uh, a plus uh, 20 equal to 0 for this first equation a is going to be equal to positive 4 units for the second equation a is going to be negative uh, 20 units and now we can see that uh, a cannot be a negative uh, number so therefore we are going to reject this a equals to negative 20 value and we are going to accept uh, a equals to positive 4 value so thus our uh, a value turns out to be 4 units by using the very first method and now I'm going to show you how to find the a value by using the second method as well and in this uh, next step I'm going to connect uh, this center O with this point uh, B as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, OB is the radius uh, of this uh, larger circle and we know the radius is 13 so this uh, OB length uh, has got to be 13 and furthermore uh, this uh, OC is the radius of this uh, larger circle as well so this is going to be 13 as well so therefore we conclude uh, that this uh, segment uh, op is going to be 13 minus 8 is going to give us 5 units and now let's recall this perpendicular bisector theorem if one chord is perpendicular bisector of another chord uh, then the first chord is the radius so no wonder this angle uh, OPB has got to be our 90 degree angle and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BPO and now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets 5 12 and 13 and here we can see in this right triangle uh, BPO this uh, hypotenuse is 13 units this leg is 5 so therefore this leg BP has got to be 12 units and furthermore we know this BP segment is a plus 8 so therefore we can write a plus 8 is going to be equal to 12 and now I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides and here we can see 8 and negative 8 is gone so therefore our lowercase a value turns out to be positive 4 units so therefore we can see our a value once again turns out to be positive 4 units by using the second method as well and since we figured out our lowercase a value equals to 4 now let's make an observation we can see this whole a b length is going to be a plus a is going to give us 2a and then plus 8 plus 8 is going to be 16 so therefore I can write uh, our a b chord length is going to be equal to 2 times a plus uh, 16 
and now we know our a value is 4 I'm going to substitute that value for over here so therefore a b length is going to be 2 times 4 plus 16 and that is going to be 8 plus 16 so therefore our a b length turns out to be 24 units so thus our uh, a b length turns out to be 24 units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye